Hi everyone and welcome back to another vlog. So today's vlog is all about the entry criteria for nursing and what qualifications are needed to get you onto the nursing degree. So firstly, I just want to put a disclaimer out there. Every single university is different and there's different ways and different routes into nursing. So it really depends on that and what is expected of you. So always check the websites and the place where you're applying to before anything else. But what I can do is give you the standard requirements needed. So let's get straight to it. The qualifications you need to get onto the nursing degree. I have got my laptop in front of me, as you can see. I'm just taking this from the Birmingham City University uh, website because that's the university I went to, so I'm going there. Um, but always remember, like I said, disclaimer, check the university's websites or the open university websites and just see what you need. So this is just an example for the qualifications that you need. So you will need level two qualification of some sort. So this will be your GCSEs if you have those. And there have to be three subjects at a grade A to C or above, or a level four and above, so between four and nine. And these the subjects have to include maths, English and a science. But you can, if you don't have GCSEs, you can do an equivalent, a level two equivalent in these areas. This is what I did because I didn't get the best GCSEs, so I had to do the equivalents. Next, you can also have a BTEC level two diploma, but in a relevant subject, so health and social care or sports science. You can also have functional skills key and key skills level two as well. And then you also have to have, so you'll have those uh, level two qualifications, but then you have to have a level three qualification as well. So this will be like, I had to do the access to HE diploma. This got me straight into university. If you have A-levels, that's enough. Like you just need your GCSEs and A-levels to get into university. Otherwise, if you haven't got those, it's the equivalents. So like I said, for me, I had to do the equivalent uh, maths and English for uh, my GCSEs. And then I went on and did the access course, which, which is the equivalent to the A-level that you need to get in so the courses that are accepted are so it's got to be a level three or above so your a levels your access to he diploma um a degree a, a btec so any btec in the relevant subject is acceptable as long as it's level three and it's in health and social care sports or science Next up, you can have another type of diploma so this is a level three diploma so it's the ncfe C A C H E. That's a lot of words. I'll put it here. Um, and this can be in childcare and education. Um, it can be early years and education. It can be um, a health and social care type of diploma. Uh, as long as it's a level three, you can also do the City and Guilds Level Three Advanced Technical Extended Diploma which will get you enough points, but that has to be, again, health and social care related. You can also have the OCR Cambridge Technical Extended Diploma, basically any diploma at level three, as long as it's in health and social care, sports or science, that's it, or the childcare or early years. If you haven't got this already, if you haven't got any qualifications already, then just have a look into it, see what you need. Have a look, firstly, what university you really want to go to and then look at the entry requirements. What do you need to get you in? And then just go from there and then you can go to colleges. Um, there's different like open university sites and things like that that you can do just to get those qualifications and be able to apply for university. And it's similar qualifications for the nurse and associate route as well. So normally they ask for your GCSEs A, A to C grade in maths and English specifically, um, or an equivalent level two of maths and English somehow. Um, some places will expect you to do some sort of level three qualification as well, like I said, with the degree. However, a lot of places will just accept your GCSEs and you, your experience, like if you've got a lot of experience and stuff like that. So again, it just depends on where you're applying to and what the, they expect of you in a way. And nurse and associate role is, is sort of run differently. So you will apply for the job basically through NHS jobs or job sites, things like that. Um, and they will fund you through the work and you'll go to university like a day a week to be released to do your um, assignments and exams and things like that and all your theory. And then you'll be going out to work to put the practice in there the rest of the week. You can apply to university directly to do your nurse and associate course, but then you will have to fund that yourself. It won't be paid for. 
But yeah, like I said, just have a look at the universities, have a look around and just look at the specific entry requirements for where you want to apply for or where you want to do your course through because um, they'll be much more clearer and they'll, they'll give you the lowdown of what you need rather than this generic sort of video that I'm trying to get for everybody um, because different places will do different things. So yeah, just have a look around. And just on a last point, if you are a student from another country i'm not a hundred percent sure what qualifications are equivalent to the uk i'm really really sorry i'm not very good with that sort of thing um again you will be better off just contacting the university that you want to apply to um just so that you can get a better understanding and see what the equivalents are and see how you can transfer over to the uk versions that'll be your best bet and if you're a nurse i get a lot of questions as well about uh, qualified nurses as well in different countries and how they can transfer over to the UK and get a registered PIM with the NMC. Um, the best bet is literally just contact the NMC directly and fill out, I think there's application forms and things like that that you have to fill out and some exams that you might have to sit. Um, but yeah, just have a look, have a Google NMC and um, registering with the NMC and that will just tell you everything that you need to know because I'm not sure about these things. I'm really, really sorry. But yeah, if I can help in any way, I will always try. But this sort of thing is just really not my area. And you'd be better off just contacting the NMC directly. So I think that's it from now. There's not really much else I can say about the entry requirements and qualifications. Uh, I've literally just given you the lowdown, what type of qualifications you need. And yeah, the contacts that you need to make. I hope you're all having an amazing week as always, and I shall see you next time.